um, let's look at uh, module 4, unit 2 of GST 204. It has to do with technological environment and business. When we are talking about uh, technological environment, we are looking at the state of science and technology in the country where the entrepreneur wants to do his business. Uh, we know Nigeria is filled with uh, intellectuals. So when it comes to scientific uh, thinking, Nigeria have the resources, the human resources. But what is worrisome is the technological infrastructure, the hardware, the machines. Uh, most, of, most often, when you ask people, uh, people that are doing business, uh, they are talking about old used, discarded equipment that are imported into the country. It's delimiting the efforts of the intellectuals in carrying out uh, technological uh, processes. The infrastructure, the hardware of technology, we don't manufacture any. And when we want to import, we import those that are discarded, those that are phased out. How can you keep up with technology? But when it comes to scientific thinking, yes, the soft technology, Nigeria has it in abundance. The soft technology, they include the knowledge, that's the expertise, the method to carry on the production and distribution of goods. We have human resources, the entrepreneurial ex expertise of the entrepreneur, the inventions, they are there, the innovations. So the, the technological environment affects the manner in which resources of the uh, uh, entrepreneur is converted from input to output. The technological process is a process. The entrepreneur will do the input, but the process that is taking place is inside the hard technology. And that's what the, 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 uh, the, uh, the country is expected to improve upon. There's no point, you know, bringing discarded uh, technology, you know, uh, to the country for people to, you know, work with. When they are phasing out, we are acquiring. So we are always behind time. We are behind. We always steps away from new technology. And if we need to be part of a global discussion, we need to adapt to technology or uh, more or better still, even if we can't manufacture, we can ask people that we are dealing business with to transfer technology as part of the deal for doing business in Nigeria. But that's by the way. The point is that it is important to study the prevailing technology in the environment to determine the type of uh, technology you need to acquire for your business as an entrepreneur. We'll stop here for now.